So I'm here in Will Con right now, and it is time we start laying out some plumbing inside the project as we start advancing now more concrete work inside the build there at Los Contes Del Mar. Now, here you have a lot of selections of pipes. So many homes in the U.S. are always using PVC, PVC, PVC. That would be this blue pipe right here for them. These other pipes here are used electrical and drain pipes that you see in the oranges there. But the white pipe that you see at the end, that is not your American style PVC that we have in the U.S. that uses these solvents. Instead, that is PPR pipe. And I really don't know why it's not more common in the US being that in America we like to have a high standard of building. This pipe does not glue together with solvent. It welds together, it fuses together. This does not glue together. In fact, if you try to put one of the fittings to the pipe you'll think it's the wrong size because it won't slide on there until you heat this up and with the tool that come, that you'll have to purchase that tool you're not purchasing cans of solvent you purchase a heating tool that this will slide onto have different fittings heat that up you heat the pipe up at the same time you slide the two together and you fuse it all in one it is a little bit more costly than PVC pipe without a doubt and there's different grades of it um, there's a grade here that I've not seen before I just, they said some other manufacturer I've seen in this gray color well for us in America we see a gray pipe we think electrical but it's not I asked them here they said no it is just another brand of that pipe another difference is is that this pipe can be used for hot or cold it's also used in very cold climates because it does not tend to crack and split like PVC pipe does. Uh, it's more sun resistant, more weather resistant, and it's just an overall long-term better quality than anything you're gonna get out of PVC. The next thing is, is like in my experience in the US, dealing with copper. Yeah, copper can be nice, but it also can be prone to split uh, corrode, corrosion is a bad problem with it, like our heavy mineral waters on our well back in the U.S. I can't use copper or brass, it corrodes it, it leaves a bad taste as well. Um, if we had PPR there readily available, my place would have PPR pipe. Right now there in the U.S. I'm using plastic uh, PVC because of the heavy mineral water from our well, it tends to do better why we don't have this in every Home Depot and Lowe's in the United States, I do not know. So as you see, there's a variety of all kinds of fittings, the same like you would have with PVC. But once again, it's a whole lot higher quality. This is a threaded piece right here for PPR. As you see, it has a stainless steel insert fused into it no plastic on plastic fittings in PPR here's a male and a female in my hand here as you see right there stainless steel insert yes you're gonna spend a little bit more money on the initial cost but you're gonna have a long-term peace of mind out of this product um, let me take you over now and show you the fusing tools that they have the welding tool for heating this up and putting it together there's different price points on those for different budgets. So let's go look at that. So this is one of the tools right here that heats us up and welds it together. You have different size fittings on here, yes. male and female, for different size pipes that you're going to be fusing together, welding together. This is only uh, one manufacturer. There's many different qualities of these tools out there. I currently bought one that uh, is a bigger kit than this one that I'll show you um, maybe towards the end of this video that has a better stand than this. It comes with the cutting tool already, comes with a measuring tape already. Um, there's different qualities in these tools. Of course, different budgets too. So you may not want to spend as much money on one, but if you're going to use it on a regular basis, you may 
want to get this. So you would put your male fitting on one side, your female fitting on the other side. You'll heat both of your pipes at the same time. Pull them off, slip them together. It's permanently fused. Thank you. Another thing you want to do, as with any plumbing project that's going to be in concrete, inside of walls and all, is you want to pressure test before you lock that away inside of cement because we all know that is a nightmare. If you have to bust in the concrete and you have limited space to work to do a repair, especially if you got to put a fusing tool in there as well. So another thing that you're going to want to do and that we're going to need to do is to cap all of these the same as you would back with copper or anything in the US. You want to cap everything, get it all to its uh, final points and pressurize that system and do a leak down test, do a pressure test and you want to make sure it holds um, and address those issues before you pour it in the concrete. So another thing we got to get today for our project is a shower drain. And what I'm looking for is one of these elongated drains like this to where more water can go in over a surface. And another thing I like about this one is it has this weighted trap on it. Because little creatures crawling back up the pipe. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. So that's a feature I'm looking for. Uh, of course, I want good quality stainless steel. So one of these style drains is something I'm looking to purchase today. I have an elongated one back here. Can you see if you have uh, two of these in stock right here? I think that's the one that I like. I want to avoid these standard common drains right here. They, they seem to not be the higher quality stainless steel. They seem to stain real easy. But another problem is, is trying to keep people from pouring muriatic acid for cleaning around your tiles and all. Uh, it is a common practice in this country to grab a bottle of muriatic acid and use it on tiles. They'll distort the finish. They'll discolor the stainless steel. So it's another thing. Watch out about the muriatic acid. So this was a score on this. Good, good, good. You want to watch that inside too? No, no, it, it's no problem. Uh, I really I like the little weighted trap on this. That is um, a very good thing there for me. And you know where this is manufactured at? You don't know? So I want to share with you all the PPR fusing tool that I bought. Now I bought the fusing tool actually at City Hardware here in the Philippines. Um, Wilcon had a better selection on the PPR pipe than City Hardware, but City Hardware had a better fusing tool. So that's where you want to do a little bit of shopping around. And the price was also pretty good on it. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot remember right now exactly how much it was, but I'll tell you these things run around 100 bucks. Um, just, you know, right in that price range, you know, 80 to 100 and a little over $100. Let me show you the one that I bought. So here's the one I bought at City Hardware. Now, the funny thing about this is, is that when I was there looking at their PPR pipe and I asked where their uh, pipe welding tool was to put the pipe together, he went and got me a can of solvent. And I said, no, that's for plastic PVC pipe. There's a tool for welding this pipe together. Well, another guy come and another guy come and they had no clue what I was talking about. And then it dawned on one of the three and he walked down an aisle there 
and up on a shelf not being displayed nothing wrapped all up in plastic was this box and uh, the others had no clue so city hardware you need to train your employees about your product especially if you're going to display and sell PPR pipe and they don't even know they're trying to sell people glue for it come on <laughs> so as we see right here um, can't much speak that language but I can go with the second line plastic pot welding machine made in Turkey it says so let's check it out inside so when you open it up here's what you got it comes with a pipe cutter already so you don't have to buy that additional it comes with a little tape measure right here so if you don't have one hey here's your little tape it's handy to have when you're wanting to cut some pipe um, it's got your fittings for different size pipe right here this is actually the machine itself right here that heats up and fuses the pipe any of you out there that's used any of these uh, if you know this one and it's not a good one hey tell me and uh, if not we're gonna learn about this thing here pretty soon if it's a good one or not but it definitely looked better to me than the one they had at Wilcon even though Wilcon had a way better choice on the pipe itself so this one has like a good little die cast stand right here we'll sit the stand here to the side remember this thing gets hot it's fusing a pipe so there you go it's on its little stand um, way better setup than what the other one was there at Wilcon next you have your two pieces here that you're going to heat up these go inside each other when it's being stored like this you see here the two pieces fit in you're going to attach this on here you're going to attach this on the other side and you will heat both of these at the same time to put um, a, a coupling an end of some sort onto that pot and fuse it and weld it together so here you go here they are on here it's got a little bolt that runs through one of them's threaded, one of them's not. Run it through there, tighten them down, snug it together. Plug it up. You want to set your heat. Um, it's got a book here that maybe you can go over, and there's some uh, welding times and charts in here on heat settings. I think it's going to be one of these uh, deals that you're probably going to spend a little bit of time uh, practicing with it and finding that perfect sweet spot for where you're at and the temperatures but let's go over it right here real quick so you got power switches here you got a heat range you set that down you got each one of your pipes ready you uh, say for instance put your coupling over here on this one you slide your pipe in over here on this one you get them both hot you slip them apart off of this you slide them together while they're still hot and let it cool and it is fused as one piece no glue all right everyone well that's my little video about my uh, heating tool the PPR pot and look look back home I did a little research back in the US there are some places that are handling it I don't know Maybe up north they do. I don't know because I don't live up north. So any of you there that's watching this that's in the U.S., tell me if it's available in your area. I looked up and like where I live in Texas, there was some contractor supply places that was advertised to go to. But it's not a general home improvement store like a Home Depot or Lowe's and things like that. Um, it was a specialty contract store that had it. And I'm sure it was probably pricey there as well. But it's not near um, probably that pricey here is what I found back there at home if you had to order that. Um, I hope it's something that becomes more readily available in the U.S. Um, it's used all throughout Europe, the Middle East, and over here. And it seems to be a very superior product. So look that up. It's P-P-R Pot. Alright everyone, I hope you all learn something out of this and share me some information back of what you know about it and hope you all have a blessed day be sure hit that subscribe hit that notification 
We would appreciate it a lot.